Hi guys, Frank here with Build Your Own, and this is my 2005 Volkswagen New Beetle Turbo. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the cost to repair a Volkswagen New Beetle Turbo between the years of 1998 and 2005, which I consider to be the MK4.1 New Beetle. Volkswagen MK4 means fourth generation of a specific model, Jetta, Golf, GTI, or in this case, the New Beetle. These Beetles were built on what's known as the A4 Volkswagen platform, or the MK4 chassis. I call the 1998 to 2005 Volkswagen New Beetle the MK4.1 because in 2006, Volkswagen gave the New Beetle a styling refresh. New front and rear bumpers, headlights, and tail lamps highlight the exterior changes. Inside, the cabin received a new console, redesigned instrument cluster, revised sun visors, and additional chrome trim. Under the hood, the MK4.1 engine choices were dropped in favor of the 150 horsepower, 2.5 liter 5 cylinder engine first seen in the redesigned Jetta. So really the 2006 to 2010 new Beetle is very different and Volkswagen didn't make a turbo new Beetle between 2006 and 2010. So is the Volkswagen new Beetle turbo expensive to maintain and repair? I've spent a total of $11,000 over the last three years having all the mechanical repairs done to my 2005 Volkswagen new Beetle turbo and it's running beautifully. I've also done some exterior repairs, like replacing the headlights, turn signals, and the third brake light. I actually did a video of me replacing the third brake light. I will put a link to that video down in the description below. So let's go over everything that I've done and note that I will be rounding the cost of repairs to the nearest dollar. And as you can see, I've saved a lot of the parts, my old parts, and where I can, I will show you the old parts when we get around to talking about them. So I've categorized everything to make this easy and under tires, brakes, and wheel alignment, I put new tires on the car from Le Schwab in October of 2019 and that cost $444. The following month, I had the front and rear brakes done for $458 at Le Schwab. And in May of 2020, I had a wheel alignment done and had new control arms and ball joints installed for $651. So under the category of check engine light, because there was a few things I needed to do to get the check engine light to go off, I had the check engine light come on, which I did a video on, and I'll put a link in the description below to that video. And to get the check engine light to go away, I had to replace one of the two catalytic converters, and that cost me $600. I had that work done at a local muffler shop here. I thought that took care of the check engine light, but it didn't. So then I put a new O2 sensor in it and a new vacuum hose in it for $411, and that concluded the check engine light problems. Then under the category of oil leaks and more suspension work, later that month I took the Beetle to the Volkswagen dealer and had the valve cover gasket, PCV valve, and cam seal replaced for $690, and that took care of the oil that was leaking all over the engine and it looks beautiful now because before it was just a mess there was a mess all over the engine here so after the after the technician did the repair he cleaned up everything and it still looks fantastic right after that in the same month i had new struts put on the beetle and the wheel alignment was done for 540 dollars and then i wasn't happy with the ride height of the car and that's when i bought a set of h and r sport springs for 577 dollars and had those bad boys installed. The Beetle sits great and handles even better. I have a video of getting the rear springs installed. I'll put that link in the description below as well. Matter of fact, I think I'll just put a link to the entire playlist to this Beetle. I have quite a few videos that you might be interested in. Under the category of tune-up and routine maintenance, the following month in August of 2020, I took the Beetle to this super cool Indy Volkswagen shop. It had a bunch of miscellaneous work done, including new spark plugs, cabin air filter, new fog lights, got an oil change, fuel filter, and brake system flush, and that all cost $784. So this is a stick shift Beetle, so of course, eventually I needed to replace the clutch. And so the following month, I took the Beetle right back over to that cool indie shop and had the clutch replaced. That cost $2,079. I was surprised at how much it cost. That consisted of a new clutch, coolant outlet, and the hose for the coolant outlet. I do have to say the clutch feels awesome now. Under the category of timing belt and water pump, after that I didn't do any major repairs again until November of 2021, when I had the timing belt and water pump replaced, along with a new thermostat, thermostat housing, serpentine belt, coolant sensor, coolant pipe, and a new reverse light switch. All that came to a total of 1,000 
$597. So under the category, we're just gonna call air filter. Uh, and not that long ago, I put a new Canon Performance air filter in the Beetle, and I did a video on that. You'll find that also in the playlist link that's in the description. And the Performance air filter just cost $55. The procedure to change uh, out the air filter, which is located here, whether you replace it with an OE version or the Canon version, it's the same procedure. They, they basically almost look the same. So if you want to replace yours, check out that video. And the last thing I did, and we'll call this category CV boot and battery, I replaced the battery, the battery fuse box and the battery cable. I replaced a lower engine cover and CV boot and had the throttle body cleaned. That cost $1,387. So this is the fuse box that was replaced. Mine's not that bad, but these things do burn and melt. And so because of this factory, this is the alternator wiring harness. It kind of goes, this box here actually goes right up under here. And these are the boxes. These are, they're culprits. They have issues for sure. So I went ahead and got mine replaced, put a new battery in it. And then this cable runs off the back side of runs off the back side of this and then it connects to the alternator down here and so from the factory these just weren't that good and so the place that i had mine done they make a custom one and so i should never have an issue with that whole alternator wire issue thing that these volkswagens can sometimes have so all those repairs we just went over all that totals just over $10,000. There are a few other Volkswagen New Beetle turbo repairs and costs that I have occurred since owning this car. Other minor repairs I performed on the Beetle as well as the costs associated with them are as follows. As far as the interior is concerned, I install a new shifter knob. That cost, I think, about $300 from the dealer. And I spent a few hundred dollars on the pedal set and these uh, official Volkswagen Beetle floor mats, which I think are super cool. So all of this, I've got about probably $500 just in the floor mats, the pedals, and the shifter knob. Now let's move on and talk about the headlights. I've actually replaced the headlights twice. The first time I replaced them, it was $749. That box that you're looking at right here, this is the OE box. See that? Volkswagen, Seat, Skoda, and Audi. So this was, I bought an original set of lights and one day I come out from the grocery store and this headlights just busted out. It's just busted out. So I think what I did was I put in, I had kept the original lights. As you can see, this is one of them. I just didn't dig out the other box. And I think I put that headlight in temporarily. And then I went to Rock Auto because they, I couldn't find the OEs. They don't make the OEs anymore. And so I went to Rock Auto, and I think I spent $500 on this set. I think they look pretty nice. I, I didn't want to have any kind of mix-match set where one set was a little bit lighter or brighter than the other, or more oxidized, because these do oxidize for sure. And so I think they look great, but I've got a lot of money. I've got like $1,200 going on $1,300 just into the lights, but it really makes the front of the car look fantastic. So I had to actually do something with the keys. The remotes weren't working too well, so I put new batteries in the key fobs. Went over to the dealer and had that done. That cost about 20 bucks. Under the category of windshield, I had the windshield replaced and the Beetle started leaking water in the interior. I thought it was the drain plugs as Volkswagen new Beetles are known for that. There was even a class action lawsuit against that. So I took the Beetle down to the dealer they cleaned out the, the, the drain rails for the sunroof for a cost of $163. They said that the drain rails looked perfect. And so that's when I knew that they messed up when they installed the window. So I had them come out, reinstall the window, and the leak went away. Meanwhile, there was a ton of standing water in the car. I actually did a video of me removing the front seats and totally vacuuming out all the water, drying out the car. I actually thought the Beetle was gonna be ruined, but it turned out that everything was okay. I've had no electrical issues and everything's been fine since they put in a second windshield. So do note guys, if you ever have any, any sunroof leaking issues, if you've actually had a window replaced around the same time, that might actually be the culprit. And I think the very last thing I did, and I didn't even do a video of this, is I replaced the turn signals. I've got new turn signals. The other ones were, there was water in them. They were oxidized. These parts are cheap. 
I got these at Rock Auto. I don't remember how much I spent on them. It wasn't very much, probably 20 or 30 bucks. And it really helps to clean up the front end and freshen up this car. So to answer the question, is the Volkswagen New Beetle Turbo expensive to repair and maintain? I would have to say yes, they are, if you're going to do it right. That said, these are great, reliable cars, but they are old. This car is 17 years old and parts are tired and worn, but they're not cheap. If you buy or own an MK4 Volkswagen New Beetle Turbo, expect to have to make some repairs, and some of them will be costly. Most folks don't want to spend money on a car that at the end of the day is an inexpensive used car. I paid $4,500 for this one, and I have zero regrets about what I've spent to maintain this car. I get so much enjoyment out of driving this car, I often drive in the country just to drive those twisty country roads. I have to do a scenic driving video with the Beetle so you can join me. I did do a scenic drive in my truck and I will put a link to that in the description below. Okay, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.